Hello everybody, welcome to Linux L tutorial. Today I am going to show how to install and use InnoTop command. InnoTop is a smart command line tool to monitor local and remote MySQL server and it will be running under InnoDB engine. I am going to execute this on CentOS 6.7. Let me see the installation procedure of InnoTop. Install the InnoTop command by using yum install. After enter this command, hit enter now. Press Y to continue. Now the installation of uh, InnoTop will be successfully completed. Next, I am going to execute the InnoTop command. Let me see how to execute this. You should start the inotop command by using this method. So inotop hyphen u for username. It is the your MySQL username and hyphen p for password. And enter your MySQL password here. So after enter this settings, now press enter. Now your screen shows like this. Now it will be successfully login into your MySQL server. So this is the main page of the inodop command. If you want to execute these several, if you want to view these several operation means use this help symbol. So it will be shows the lot of options will be presented in inodb. So I am going to execute this few options in this tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to execute the few options presented in this category let me see how to use this now press uppercase i so it will be shows the inodb input output information so you can easily identify the input output information and also threads which was presented here now press uppercase q option it will be shows the query list which was presented in your DB again press uppercase B it will be shows the buffer details of InnoDB so you can easily identify the buffer details and also statistics it will be shown here now press uppercase R option it will be shows the row options in row option it will be shows operation of MESC and semaphore and array details will be shown here if you want to view this row operation means you can press uppercase or now press uppercase yes it will be shows the variable and the status in this section calculates the statistics like queries per second and display them out in number of different modes now press uppercase m it will shows the output of slave sql status and slave input output status and master status now press uppercase u if you have if you add any user to your db means it will be shows the user statistics currently in my db i never add the user that's why it's not showing so you can verify the user statistics by using this option now press uppercase o so it will be shows the tables which was presented in your db it, in my db i never created tables that's why it's not showing if you want to use to, if you want to view the tables you can use this option now press uppercase c option it will be shows the command summary history what are the commands will be executed that kind of history will be shown here so finally quit this finally quit this terminal by pressing small case u now quit this inner top terminal by pressing q option 
small case q option it will be quitted now next i am going to show how to monitor the remote database by using inotop you should enter the remote db username and password and also host name so uh, once you enter means press enter to continue so it will be connected so you can use the same options which was executed in previously for example i am going to press uppercase i for input output statistics and uppercase b for buffer details so it will be displaying you can use all of the option which presented for InnoDB. if you want to exit this terminal again press small case q to quit this InnoTop db terminal so it will be quitted now it is the simple tool to monitor local and remote mysql server running status that's all about this tutorial let me see you on another video thank you